welcome to a very special edition of Weekly MTG. They're all special, but Aren't this they? one's this one's special in a special way. Uh, I have with me today friend of the show, Mark Hagen. Hello, everyone. Hello, Blake. Who's going to tell us about a new thing? Uh, and if you are uh, reading ahead or looking in this general area. Uh, you may see that it's called Jumpstart. That's it. Yeah, we're going to get there in a second, though. Um, before we get there, I have some news. So this is uh, the week of the World Championship. Yep. Normally Steve does this section, but Steve's not here today. He's traveling. I just got back from Hawaii where the World Championship took place, and it was, it was one of the best shows we've ever yeah, put on, great. if not the best show. Uh, so let's show the top eight bracket and talk through a bit about what happened. These eight players showed up Saturday afternoon and whittled it down to four on Sunday. Uh, the final four came down to Polo Vitor, Domodorosa, Marcio Carvalho, Gabriel Nassif, and Seth Manfield, uh, who just are some of the best players the game has ever seen. So the, it worked. It worked. We did it. We, we did, did it. it, everyone. Um, Winning the whole thing, as you can see there under the finals, Brazilian superstar Paulo Vitor Dominarosa, earning the one title that has eluded him his entire career. He's done it all now. He's got everything, and a lot of people are talking about him as if he might be the greatest ever. He's certainly up in the conversation for the top three. Uh, let's take a look at the decks that made it to the finals. First up, Marcio Carvalho, who has uh, gotten second at Worlds before. He's very good at getting second place, which, you know, he gets a little ribbing for that, but getting second is really hard. Um, so he played Jeskai Fires, as you can see here, and this was a relatively popular choice for the tournament. He had a few uh, twists on it that other players didn't, um, but he came up against Paulo Vitor Dominarosa in the finals, who just beat just about everyone. Marcio actually took one match off Paulo earlier in the weekend. Um, but it wasn't enough to stop him. So Paulo was playing blue-white control, and we can put that up on the screen. And he played a lot of counter spells. He played just a few win conditions uh, and a light enchantment theme that took him all the way to his first world championship. So congratulations to Paulo. Um, he is also now. He was already the lifetime money leader. He is now the lifetime money earning leader in Magic by like a magnitude. Right. Um, so congratulations yeah. to Paulo. Congratulations to everyone who participated that weekend. And congratulations to everyone who got to go to Hawaii because it was Hawaii. Well done. Uh, thank you. Uh, next up, uh, we're going to move from this past weekend to the next weekend. DreamHack Anaheim is taking place this weekend. And there is an arena open happening at the event. It is a best of three standard event happening February 21st to 23rd with a total prize pool of $100,000 with first, first place taking home $30,000 and an invite to the Mythic Invitational happening May 14th through 17th. It will be played on Arena. You can get more information at dreamhack.com slash Anaheim, which you see at the bottom of the screen there. Uh, and it's going to be streamed all weekend with some pretty fantastic talent. So Admirable, Riley Knight, Maria Bartoli, and Martin Yuza are going to be heading the broadcast booth and bring you all the action all weekend. Uh, the event is capped at 350 people. Uh, you do have to have a DreamHack ticket to get to register for the event. Uh, so if you're in the Anaheim area or want to make it out there, uh, make sure you check out dreamhack.com slash Anaheim for all the information that you could possibly need. And that is all the news I have before the other news. That is the entire point of this show. Uh, so, Mark, we are talking about something called Jumpstart. Yep. What is Jumpstart? Jumpstart is a new booster product. Jumpstart is something we've been working on for years now. Uh, it was born out of some early ideas we had, going back to some early kind of hackathon internal development brainstorming we did. Mm -hmm. um, one of the most exciting, most kind of uh, the deepest parts of magic is the deck building. The idea that your deck is different today than it was yesterday, or you can pick up something new, uh, be surprised by how it plays out, what you're playing against. 
Um, you can accomplish that. You can you can build your own decks from mm -hmm. scratch. You can play a format like Draft or Sealed and kind of uh, create a version of that experience. Incredibly powerful. But we've always known that there's kind of people and moments in our lives where, where that doesn't quite fit, right? There's, um, there's some people who, who don't enjoy the kind of deck building element of Sealed or Draft. Um, there's also people who maybe like Sealed or Draft, but you don't always have time, right? You can take a whole afternoon to kind of fire a draft and play it through. Um, and so sometimes you're looking for a kind of a more bite-sized experience that you can fit in between rounds or, or in a shorter period of time. Mm -hmm. So for both those people, we've been looking for a long time for some way to kind of create that kind of combinatorial um, dynamics that, that deck building can provide, but without requiring you to, to kind of go through a whole draft or sealed pool. Mm -hmm. um, and so early on, um, in, in kind of one of these uh, brainstorming processes, we came up with this idea of um, kind of half decks that you could mix together in different ways. So we started playing around. Uh, Doug Beyer, a designer here, shout out to Doug Beyer, he really saw the vision of this early and kind of just, just kept, he just stayed on this thing. Mm -hmm. He kept trying new, um, uh, mock-ups and, and, and examples and tests, and we realized we were onto something. So all of that, we've been working on that for years, and we are now proud to announce Jumpstart. So Jumpstart is um, a booster product, but it works unlike any booster we've ever made. The, um, the cards inside each booster connect to each other. They speak to a single theme. They're not randomized from across a, a large pool, kind of picking at random mm -hmm. to build your packet. Um, they are kind of collated by design, by thought, to figure out cards that work together. And so as a result, every, every booster you open of Jumpstart um, speaks to a single theme. Okay. So for like what are some of the themes? Yeah. So some are kind of tribal. So for example, there's a goblin theme. So you mm -hmm. might open a Jumpstart booster, and all of the cards in there work with goblins. They're, they are goblins, or they make sense in a goblin deck, um, or they're even lands. So we went ahead and put the, the lands in there as well. So you might open some mountains and some goblin cards, and an uh, instant that works well with goblins, that mm -hmm. kind of thing. So you have 20 cards total, um, but there's a lot of different themes. And so you, as a result, you can take any two Jumpstart boosters, mm -hmm. shuffle them together, and they're designed so that it just works. So um, the simplest way to play is to just do it blind. You just grab any two Jumpstart boosters, you open them up, you shuffle them together, and, and you've made zero decisions, but you have a deck, which is one of a huge number of possible combinations. Mm -hmm. So you might do that, and you might end up with goblins and vampires. And now you have a red-black deck that is doing go goblin vampire things. Mm -hmm. um, or maybe you had grabbed goblins and um, above the clouds. And now you have a deck which is goblin, red goblins and then um, enchantments and things that are helping your creatures fly. And okay. now you have flying goblins. So it's a very different kind of deck than goblin vampires. Um, but it just kind of happens. And there's a ton of combinations. Okay, so you basically you take two of these packs, shuffle them together, and you have a 40-card deck with some kind of theme. Yep. Uh, now... <clears throat> How does that work with the packs? Do you know what your theme is? How is that package and put together? So as we started playing around with early play tests of this, we realized that there's um, kind of different actual ways to get to the 40 card deck mm -hmm. that are fun for different people. So some people just like doing it totally blind, like I described, just taking two, shuffling them together, um, maybe not even looking at their deck. You just shuffle them and, and you're surprised as you go. Um, for other people or other kind of um, situations, we found that sometimes it's fun to have a moment of kind of mixing and matching, mm -hmm. of, of deciding, oh, do I want to pair goblins with vampires or do I want to pair goblins with wall, right? Or make my Phyrexian cat deck and just combine all the evil things into Get it all one. in there. Yeah, 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 okay. Um, so we actually designed... Um, Actual themes are, yeah, yeah Phyrexians yeah, and cats. That's yeah, that's why not? So we designed some brand new packaging to enable that. So I'll show you a, um, an example. These are, these are mock-ups, This is just right? a mock-up. Yeah. So yeah. it'll look like a booster pack. It comes in a flow wrap. But when you open that up, what we've done is we have the cards inside are then uh, sealed. So if you can see that they're like cellar wrapped together. And then the front-facing card you see here isn't a magic card, but instead it's a theme card. Okay. And so it, all it does is communicate what the theme of this packet is. So this one is spooky, so there's a theme that's spooky. Mm -hmm. um, and so it just says a picture and the word spooky. And then down in the corner we actually have a little mana pip, so that's a little black mana pip. So um, if you open up, one way I like to play this is you open up four of these. So imagine you open four and you lay them on the table, and now you know that the four things you're working with are, uh, let's say, spooky and cats and walls and Phyrexians, mm -hmm. um, you get to take a minute and decide. It's a very simple choice, but yeah. do I want to go spooky Phyrexians? Do I want to go walls and, go you know, walls and cats, however you want to do it? So you make the two combinations you want. So you've mm -hmm. made kind of two, 40, two piles. And then at that point, you just unwrap this, you remove this face card, mm -hmm. and shuffle the remaining cards together. So those are two ways to play, kind of totally blind or, or mix and match yeah. them four. But frankly, we're excited to see what people do with this. Like, there's other ways to play that look a little bit more like a traditional draft. There's ways that we haven't even thought of 
And, and so we built this tool to let people kind of take it where they will. Yeah, one of the ways we were, uh, I think actually Steve and I were talking about the other day was it'd be kind of fun to just open a box, open all the packs so that the themes are out there. Right. And then um, like Rochester draft the themes. Right. Like, ooh, I'm, I, I want that unicorn one. Right. And then also, ooh, there's, uh, what is that? That's that's Eldrazi. I'm going to take that one. Um, so yeah, there are a yeah. lot of ways to do it. Yeah, exactly. So we had a ton of fun playing around with this, and like I say, there's we're confident that a, a year from now people will have invented ways to play with this that, that we're not even doing mm -hmm. today. Um, one thing I should point out is that some of the some of the themes actually have different variations. Okay. So for example, um, the goblins deck, which I've mentioned, um, the goblins pack. There are multiple goblins um, lists, but they all look the same from the front. So they all okay. say goblins, and they have red, and you don't know what you're getting, but kind of under the hood, once you crack it open, there's different ones. And so what that allows for is um, uh, it, it, once you, it, it enables you to kind of not know exactly what you're even in for. There's not really a correct answer. Even if you know you're dealing with a goblins pack, mm -hmm. you don't know exactly what your rare might be because they're different versions of that pack. Right. Um, and so it enabled us to kind of keep the mystery going um, farther in. So yeah, super fun. Like I said, it's, it's a brand new thing. It's a brand new way to think about boosters and opening boosters and playing with boosters um, that we had to kind of build all from the ground up to support this vision of this kind of deck building without the deck building mm -hmm. that we, we're just really excited to see how that fits into people's magic uh, ecosystem. Now, is it new cards? Is it reprints? That's a great question. So it's a big set. Overall, there's uh, 500 plus cards that go into Jumpstart. Um, it is a combination of uh, reprints, older reprints, uh, cards from M21, mm -hmm. and then a few brand new cards. Okay. So the way it breaks down is there's 37 brand new cards that we developed for this. Um, largely, that was scenarios where we, we had a, a theme we wanted to deliver on. We looked throughout Magic, and we just couldn't quite find the thing we needed. So in a few cases, in 37 cases, we built a brand new card to do that. Mm -hmm. um, those cards are not standard legal. They have a Jumpstart expansion symbol on them, so they're legal in um, Commander or Vintage, but... but they get the Commander treatment, so yeah. Eternal Formats. Eternal Formats. So Legacy, Vintage, Commander. Yep, but, but okay. mostly those are meant... Uh, some of them are, are, do have fun kind of Commander implications. Mostly those are there to make this work. Mm -hmm. So there's 37 of those. Um, then there's 120-odd um, cards from M21, and those cards have the M21 expansion symbol. They just are M21 cards for legality purposes. Sure. Um, and so if you open a card from Jumpstart that says M21, it's just an M21 card. You, you can do it with it, everything you'd expect with an M21 card. Mm -hmm. And then the last part is just raw reprints. There's more than 400 reprints from before M21 that we're reprinting here. They get the uh, Jumpstart expansion symbol, so we're not, they're not entering standard. Um, but they're wonderful cards that, that we love, that work perfectly. You know, some of these themes, we've been doing something like um, walls. We've been doing walls for years, and so this is a chance for us to reach back and get a bunch of fun walls that we haven't seen in a while, mm -hmm. put them into here. It feels great. Um, you can get those cool reprints in your hands, and we didn't have to worry about forcing them into standard or, or anything like that. Okay. A um, couple questions from chat that, yep. that seemed good. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about the lands? There's something special in there. There is. So there's, um, like I said, there's lands built into these that enable you just to play. You don't have to worry about picking your, your mana base. Um, the basic lands are largely reprint lands, lands that um, you've seen before. But for each of these themes, we developed one brand new basic land mm -hmm. um, for that theme. Mm -hmm. And you will get one copy of that version of that land in each in each pack. So in the goblin, if you open a goblin pack like this, yep. there will be one mountain, which is what we call the goblin mountain. It's new art, it's thematically relevant to goblins. Mm -hmm. um, we developed it specifically for this and it's the only place to get it. So if you want, um, you can then, it's, it's fun when you play Jumpstart and also if you have a goblin deck somewhere else, maybe you, you're excited to take a, an extra goblin-y mountain and put it into sure. another deck you have. So there's um, one of those for each of the themes we've done, um, and they are, yeah, like I said, available only here. Okay. Now there are some themes that are, uh, correct me if I'm getting this wrong, they're, they're rarer or they're, they only have one variation? Right. So there's 121 possible lists you can think of, uh, okay. think of it as, um, 121 different groups of cards. Um, some of those, some of the themes appear only once on on that list of 121. Okay. So for for example, Phyrexian, there's a Phyrexian packet, but there's only one version of it. So okay. it's essentially mythic rare to open the Phyrexian group. Um, 
And so ever seeing the Phyrexian cards at all is kind of a bit of a rare experience. Mm -hmm. uh, other ones we have more of. So there's, a, there's also a Cats mm -hmm. theme, which has a few versions that appear essentially twice in that list of 121, yep. if that makes sense. Two or three times. They appear different numbers of times. And so as a result, it's more common to get some of these themes. But yes, some of the themes are essentially mythic rare. Um, and that's where we were able to put stuff which is quirkier, weirder, um, again, something like walls. As a Wolf fan myself, I was so thrilled to have that a part of this, but you don't want you know, that to be a common occurrence that, that is mm -hmm. just walls fighting walls all the time. So we can kind of put them at, at Mythic Rare, essentially, sure. and get that kind of, um, that kind of longevity of, of combinations. Mm -hmm. And it creates those kind of fun moments where you're playing and you look over and you've literally never seen a Unicorns pack. And you've been playing all afternoon. You've never, you didn't even know Unicorns were in this thing yep. until you sit down across from someone who has it. So uh, yeah, so we were able to do fun stuff with Rarity. Okay. Um, Sean, why don't you go ahead and put the packaging up there, and while he's doing that, uh, the, we are doing a pre-release yeah. for this event, yep. so, but it's a different sort of set, so it's a different sort of pre-release. Yeah. What's going on with the pre-release? So we are going to do um, a, uh, a, a Jumpstart pre-release one week preceding M21 pre-release. Okay. So again, Jumpstart is not part of M21, but it has, a, it has a, an overlap, right? There's M21 cards in yep. here. We realize that that's a time of year where it's actually it works well to kind of release these two things. They kind of um, work in tandem. People can go back and forth. Um, you can play one and, and then get ready for the other. So one week preceding uh, M21 jump. So June 20th to 21st. Yeah, June 20th to 21st. You can go to uh, your local game store and play at the Jumpstart pre-release. It's gonna, as you can imagine, this you, you have to play you play this differently, right? You're not gonna do a, a traditional sealed with this. So the way it's gonna work. There is we're going to do the, the kind of um, the most straightforward modes. You're going to, at that pre-release, you will pay your entry fee, and you will be given two wrapped um, mm -hmm. boosters. Unwrap them, shuffle them together, and that that will be your deck. Uh, you'll then play games, um, and once you you'll just be doing it kind of um, what we call like a dance card, where it's not about winning or losing. It's more about just seeing other games and, and playing some magic. So it's how we do our employee pre-releases. Right, it's, it's yeah. what we do here when we're just trying to celebrate a new set, so we decided to replicate that there. Yep. So you'll play a series of matches, win or lose, it doesn't matter, you'll record those, you'll turn that in, and you'll receive a promo card. Mm -hmm. um, and then actually you're welcome to, to jump back in. You can then just buy back in and, and get another two decks, mm -hmm. uh, another two packs, shuffle them together, and keep playing. So kind of like on-demand pre-releases uh, while supplies last, obviously. That's it. But yeah. yeah, so that'll be the Jumpstart pre-release. Um, Really, it's, uh, it's fun to be able to do a different kind of event. Uh, it really speaks to the kind of casual, fun um, mode of this. I, I, I want to be clear that this, while kind of deck building with Jumpstart, is very easy. You're not thinking about um, your curve or valuing mm -hmm. removal or any of that. It's kind of done for you. The gameplay is not simple. Like, there's a lot of cool, crazy, weird um, magic cards in here. A lot of cards that are very interesting and, and have depth to them. Mm -hmm. So while this thing is, is quick to fire and kind of get going, um, even our most grizzled play design veterans, people who have just played you know, tens of thousands of games of Magic, um, there's all kinds of stuff for them in these as well. So mm -hmm. we, it's the kind of thing where, yeah, it's kind of a change of pace. Um, uh, give it a shot, see what you think, and uh, we think this will really speak to some people, some Magic play players. Okay. A uh, couple more questions from chat. Um, are there any foils? In these. There's no foils. Okay. This, um, yeah, it's, uh, I cannot explain how complicated this thing was to produce. <laughs> On every level, this is a weird product, um, and so foils are not, we're not able to be in the card. So there's no yep. foils in this, um, but there are um, lots of other exciting things, reprints, new cards, the, the special basic land. So okay. no foils. Um, and we are getting questions about price. Now, we yep. don't do MSRP anymore, right. um, but we can guess-ish. Yeah. We How much do we expect this? To we sell expect for? A, a booster of Jumpstart to uh, sell for a little more than a Jumpstart, uh, than a like an M21 booster. Okay. Slightly more. Twenty but, cards versus fifteen. Right, it's twenty cards. cards instead of fifteen. Sure. There's a little bit more going on, so we expect them to to um, sell for a little bit more, but not dramatically more. Sure. Um, I, I can also say we, um, even though the the price is a little higher, there are um, one in three. Jumpstart Boosters has an extra rare, has two rares instead of one. Okay. And so if you open up um, a bunch of these, you will actually end up with more rares than boosters you opened. Mm -hmm. And so that's just uh, kind of part of the fun thing we're able to factor in here. Again, since we're building these lists and building the 121, we're able to craft them and kind of tune them in ways uh, which enabled us to do stuff like two rares where it made sense and, yep. and that kind of stuff. Um, and even though, so I've seen this question a couple times, and even though I think it's I think they're trying to be sneaky to get and us. get us to reveal something. I'm going to ask it anyway. Yep. Um, will all the reprints be in the modern card frame? 
Are the reprints in the modern card frame? So the yes. example would, okay, they are, yeah. Because we did a an old card frame slot for Mystery Booster, I think is why the question is. Yeah, coming. this is not a place where we're doing um, a lot of um, quirky frames or, or gags okay. like that. Yep. So the, the quirkiness is in the gameplay. Yeah. Uh, duh, 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 duh. New art reprints, or is, are, are all the reprints old art? Yeah, most of this, uh, most of the new art went into the the new lands and the brand new cards. So this is not a place where we have a ton of new arts. Um, yeah, but a lot of great reprints. Okay. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Let's see. Make sure we've got um, uh, the release date, July third. July third. Yep. So, so again, it's just kind of, it's kind of like one week before M twenty one. Yep. Um, and so you can come to the Jumpstart pre-release, come back the next weekend uh, when the set will be released and also M21 pre-release is happening. Yep. So they're kind of like, um, we just like the idea of kind of lots of stuff going on in, in the store that time of year. Yeah. And uh, again, you, you come for one, you can kind of sample the other. Um, it enables you to you know, do a draft of M21 and then a couple rounds of this and then one more draft of M21 yeah. and kind of fill up your afternoon that way. Well, and that's... Um you know, we do get people asking, I want to answer this one. We get people asking for card content. Can you show us cards? Can you show us cards? We will do a preview season for yep. this. Uh, it's not going to be a, a super robust preview season because there's only 37 new cards. But we'll, we'll talk through the reprints. We'll yep. talk through the new cards. So there will be a preview season. We're not going to show you anything. Although anyone who looked closely at the packaging, there's one card at least that you'll recognize because that's not new art. Sharp eyes, yep. yep. Um, Let's see, what other questions do we have? Um, oh, this is a good one. Are the 20-card uh, packs singleton? So are there multiple copies of cards? In There's a packs? few cases where we actually have um, two cards in a pack, but in, it's, a lot, it's a lot of singleton. There's, very, there's no four ofs. There's very little of that. But there's a couple cases where we wanted to give you um, a few copies of a single card. Okay. But like I said, it's a very big set, 500-plus cards. So uh, this was definitely a place where we were um, able to kind of go back and just Hit, check a lot of boxes, hit a lot of fun stuff, yep. beloved cards that, that, that mean a lot to us or that we remember from trying to build a wall deck as a kid yep. um, or a cat deck or, or whatever. So uh, there's a, a lot of cards. Um, we, we've gotten, we mentioned this earlier, but we've gotten enough questions about it since then that I want to reiterate uh, legality. We're giving these what we call the commander set legality, where they're legal in vintage legacy and commander. Exactly, yeah. And, uh, and just to, one more time, there's actually two kinds of expansion symbols you'll see on the cards in here. Mm -hmm. It's always either Jumpstart, which works the way Blake just said, Commander Legality, so to speak, or it literally just is an M21 expansion symbol. Those cards are just M21 cards for sure. legality purposes. Okay. So um, that's how you'll know what to do with these cards. It, you would just look to the expansion symbol uh, like you'd expect. How many themes are there? There are. We have uh, 46 themes. Okay. So there's a huge number of themes. Um, we, yeah, once we started, we couldn't stop ourselves. <laughs> um, we just uh, fell in love with this thing and all of the goofball ideas that we thought, oh, you probably couldn't pull off you yeah. know, this or that. And we found a way to make it all work. The one that got me, and this is, so we're going to be publishing an article with all this information. So yep. if you've been keeping, uh, keeping up or, but not you haven't been taking notes, you don't need to take notes, it's okay. Uh, head to dailymtg.com. After the stream is over, I'll be pushing the publish button. Yep. Uh, and so all the details will be there. You'll be able to read the article, check out all the stuff that Mark has said, uh, plus maybe a couple other additional details. Um, like for example, the I love this one in the article. Uh, there's a theme called doctor. Yeah, some of, them, some of them are just things like doctor, and I'll be honest, a lot of the fun is just Combining that with other things. Dr. Garrick is, Dr. Yeah. Garrick. Dr. Um, Garrick is the, the theme that I enjoyed. Yeah, we've had, we ended up, so we created these, um, these little label cards that I mentioned before, mm -hmm. and very quickly, um, we started looking around the office and people had, were like, collecting their favorite combination or something they opened and just like tucking it up by their desk. Um, so yeah, a lot of the fun is just showing off the, the, the crazy combinations you can make here. Surprising yourself, realizing, oh, Dr. Garrick is actually a very strong deck because of these synergies and mm -hmm. it, whatever. It's, it's, it's light and it's fun and it's surprising. Every game is different. Um, you can play a lot of, I've played entire days of Jumpstart and never repeated the same combination. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's pretty fun. Okay. Um, question we're getting the most right now. Are all of the themes monocolored or are any of them multicolored? Almost all of them are monocolored. Um, as you can imagine, as you're combining these things and trying to make the mana base work, we, we had versions before where we were, we were really trying to get 
clever with that. And yeah. So in general, they are monocolored. Um, I will say, as particularly as you get to the higher rarities and some of those kind of mythic themes, uh, we start playing around with with multiple colors in some fun ways. Okay. But in general, multi uh, mono color is, is mostly what you'll see. Okay. Uh, and just to reiterate for those who came late, the pre-release is happening June twentieth through twenty first. Release is July third for it. Jumpstart. Yeah. Yep. Um, oh, well, let's see. How many packs in a box? There are thirty. How does it work? Uh, there's 30, 36. 36. I forget. We'll tell you. Blake will. T I'll tell him. We'll tweet it out. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. I forget how many fit? Because there are twenty cards. It's thick. Oh, they're thicker, and I so that works. I don't know. Who's in charge of this? Get whoever's in charge of this. Someone on things. your team. It's me. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> okay. Blake will tell you. I don't know. <laughs> we'll, we'll we'll tweet it out or later, or we'll update the article with how many uh, are there. Yeah, I, I didn't think about that, but for production, right? They're, if they're thicker packs, extra they're thicker, that they're double wrapped. Yeah, I don't know. Plenty enough, enough, enough. for a good time. That's your answer. <laughs> okay. Um. Uh. Let's see. Set symbol. We don't have the set symbol for you today. Oh. Uh, I think we did. Go to the. Was um, it on the go to that graphic thing? and look in the lower left? Did you have it? Oh, did he? There oh, it there is. it is. Yeah, so All right. Like, right. Lower like, left. There's the set symbol. Mm. Yeah. Mixing and matching. I, it's, it's the, no product, I think, before has had the set symbol and logo tell you how to play it. Yeah, you mash them up, jump you start, put, you, you put, put them, them together. together. Yeah. And there you go. You just look at the symbol. Take two, mix them together, swirl it around. Yeah, I love and that. And you're in business. Yeah. Um, you talked. You mentioned. It, oh, uh, let's do this. Uh, what languages is this available in? This is English only. Okay. We tried so hard um, to to go bigger, but it, it, this thing is just so hard to produce. Yep. It's so specialized. We literally had to build. We had to work with our printing partners to build new machines, like literally new machines made of metal. Okay. To to pull all this together and to collate it and to put them into the thing. So uh, English only. Okay. You heard it here first. Our printing presses are made of metal. Metal. Yeah. Real yeah. metal. Only the best. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, you can keep putting your questions in chat. We do have a Q&A section at the end where I will try to get to questions. Uh, but in the meantime, I have a little bit of a Corian news. It is not as big as the Jumpstart news, but it's, it's a little bit of a Corian news. Um, so two bits of a Corian news. Uh, so as you may or may not know, there are, we have a bunch of trade shows. Yep. We have uh, specifically Toy Fair is going on this week. And things always come out and get released during that time. Uh, little bits here and there that we want to show people. And so you know what? We figured we'd tell you. You know what? You're the fans. We do this for you. So we're going to tell you a couple little tidbits that are going to come out in those shows right here. Uh, the first is that with Ikoria, we are doing a box topper. What that means is it is a card that is inside the box. So it's, it's sealed inside yep. the box, right? Yep. yep. And that is in addition to the buy a box? Yeah, this works separately. So okay. regardless of where you got this thing, there'll be the card in the box. And then there will be a promotion um, while supplies last at your WPN, as you'd expect. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, those are two separate. So separate every orders. box will come with a box topper. Every box. The buy a box promotion is while supplies last at your local game store. Exactly. OK. Exactly. Cool. Got it. So that's all that. It, we're not telling you anything nope. else about the box topper. But there is a box topper in Ikoria. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's super cool. I'll tell yeah. you that. It's super cool. Uh, the next bit of Aquaria news and the last bit of Aquaria news. I only have two bits of Aquaria news for you here. Uh, the, with Aquaria, as you know, uh, we are releasing Commander decks. So this is our C20 release. It's really cool. It, it works really well with Aquaria. Um, and the only bit of news we have about those for you today is the five names of the decks. Yeah. Look at the names, make guesses what it means, speculate away. We're not going to tell you, but we will give you the names. We're going to show those to you right now on the screen. There are five decks. We have Ruthless Regiment, Arcane Maelstrom, Symbiotic Swarm, Timeless Wisdom, and Enhanced Evolution. That's, that's it. That's all you get. Five deck names, Commander 2020. Uh, those are going, Commander 2020 previews are going to be part of Ikoria previews. Right. Uh, they will have their own week so that it's clear what's what. Um, five decks, five names. Yeah, start start guessing away. There you go. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> um, uh, in the meantime, that is actually all the news we have. If you have some questions, go ahead and throw them in chat. Um, I mean, the questions of what 
what are in these commander decks is not going to be answered. Unfortunately, no. Mm -mm. Um, do, 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 do. We'll give that a second. Mark, how you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Great. <laughs> Great. It's, uh, it's a beautiful sunny day here in Seattle. And, uh, it is sunny, way. which is weird because that's not normal. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. Do, 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 do. Please don't be a unique box topper. Uh, we're not going to say anything about the box topper. I'm not okay. saying either way. Um, what are pre-release packs going to look like just to... Yeah, so Jumpstart, talk again about the pre-release experience since it's different. Yeah, so the uh, you'll show up... Um, let me see the dates here. June 20th, June 20th and 21st. June 20th and 21st, yep. Um, you will um, be given two uh, unopened Jumpstart boosters, mm -hmm. and you will just open them, um, take off the, the, the theme cards, and shuffle the rest together. You're certainly welcome to look through your deck... Um, uh, some people don't even bother. They just kind of let the cards go where they may. But, of course, look through your cards. That's your 40-card deck. No mm -hmm. decisions to make. And then just dive in. Uh, and then you'll start playing games against other people who are there. And you will be given a card to record basically the games you've played. But the event isn't interest, doesn't, it doesn't matter if you win or lose. It's mm -hmm. not a tournament with one winner. Um, it's just a bunch of people playing Magic together. Okay. So you'll fill out your card um, by just playing games. You'll take it in, turn it, turn it in once you've completed enough games if you want. Uh, you'll get a promo card um, as kind of your reward for being part of the event. And then actually we've said, and then you can just dive right back in if you want. If you yeah. had a good time, you can just buy two more packs, shuffle them together, and keep going. So it's, uh, a, like I said, it's a much more kind of um, casual, open, um, friendly approach to a pre-release, which we hope um, speaks to people. Um, it's kind of a little bit of a change of pace. Um, and uh, yeah, and then the, the packs are there. Um, if if supplies last to the store, you, you can even buy additional packs of Jumpstart mm. that same day and just play however going. you want. So it's cool. up to you. Um, so we're getting questions about both Ikoria and Jumpstart. We're going to stick with Jumpstart for now. Uh, can you clarify the land situation? The question yep. was basically, are the lands tied thematically art-wise or mechanics-wise? Art-wise. So. Um, the this is these are basic lands. So for example, we have a pirate theme mm -hmm. um, pack. That pack comes. It's a blue. It's a mono blue pack, and so it comes with isla with islands in it. I forget it's seven or eight. Most of these have have seven or eight. Yep. Um, of those islands, um, one of them, exactly one of them, has a special version of island art that we created to speak to pirates. So it's a piratey island art. Sure. It's a basic island. It's just an island mechanically, but it's the the debut of the, the only place we've ever produced a special pirate version of art. Okay. And so you'll get one one pirate mount, or one pirate island, and then uh, a handful of other uh, assorted reprint islands. Okay. And that's true of every theme. So the cats pack has one cat basic land. Um, the discard pack has one discard sure. basic swamp. That kind of thing. Okay. Uh, will you be able to jumpstart on arena? I yes. The answer okay, is yes. I wasn't sure what we were allowed to say. Um, <laughs> yes, you can. Yeah. Yeah. Jumpstart is uh, Arena's working on some super cool um, ways that that Jumpstart can live there. It'll probably look a little bit different than how it looks in paper, because um, they can frankly do stuff that that we can't. So yes, yep. Jumpstart. Uh, and the the date might be different. Yeah, I think it'll yes. Uh, so it's happening this year. Yep. We'll be able to Jumpstart this year. That bit's in the article as well. But yes, you will be able to okay. Jumpstart yep. on Arena. They're cooking up some very cool things. Yeah, yeah we're excited. Um, do, 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 do. Let's see. Mm. I'll ask this. Will Jumpstart shift over time about which themes can be found in booster boxes? Oh, that's a good question. So right now, Jumpstart is it's a single printing, right? It's these mm -hmm. forty-six themes. Um, they're all kind of mixed randomly into into the pool. So when you open a box of Jumpstart, you could get any of the forty-six themes in theory. Um, we have we don't have any plans for a Jumpstart two or how this might evolve over time. But we have a lot of ideas, and so if this goes well, if people are interested in it, um, and it's something that people enjoy playing, yep. we we're prepared to. Uh, we have a bunch of ways that we might be able to kind of update it, or roll with it, or do a sequel. So ideas, but but nothing's currently uh, on the schedule. Great. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's see. I, there are more questions. I'm trying to see what the jumpstart ones are. Um, uh, unique lands, or will the unique lands be full art? They are not. So it's a traditional um, frame, uh, but some amazing new art that we put in there. So cool. Uh, da, 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 
Uh, let's see. A lot of people are very excited about it coming to Arena, which is great. I'm yeah. sorry, Chad. I'm catching up. Uh, in the meantime, I do have a question for you about Ikoria. We'll switch yeah. gears a little bit. Um, so we talked about it having a box topper. Yep. Uh, will it still have collector boosters? Yes, Ikoria will have collector boosters. Great. They are beautiful. We've gotten some print tests in. Mm -hmm. They're fantastic. Yes, it'll have collector boosters. Cool. Uh, we are not going to show you cards. It's not happening yet. Jumpstart nice will have its own preview season. Yeah. Um, the uh, let's see. I'm telling you right now, you can answer this. We okay. Uh, okay. Will Jumpstart have a limited print run? Jumpstart? No. We have um, Jumpstart is not. Um, Print to demand, I think we are, we, frankly, this is new for us. Yeah. We, we honestly don't know how this is going to go. We know we love it. We know there's something here. We know that it's a, it's a, a format and a release that we play a lot of in the office. Mm -hmm. um, so we're prepared to see if that's true of you all out there. So, yeah, if, if this goes well, we'll reprint it, yep. and um, that would be great. Yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see. A lot of questions about Fetchlands. I have no news for you about no Fetchlands news. today. No news about Fetchlands. Um, how many, uh, we talked about this earlier, but we've gotten a couple of uh, questions. How many lands per pack in Jumpstart? So it's, it depends on the, uh, the theme. So if you can imagine some, um, some of the themes just play out in a more aggressive or more controlling way, mm -hmm. uh, they need different numbers. So it's usually uh, seven or eight. Um, and yeah, they're, they're each a little bit different, but it's, it's, it works such that when you shuffle two of them together, um, we can basically ensure that you'll have an appropriate number of lands for your 40 card deck. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, are any of the jumpstart packs going to come with uh, tokens? No, unfortunately, we, we're not. We do not have tokens in these. Um, we actually we see a lot of people using the the theme card as like a token placeholder, sure. um, right? You can imagine if you your your goblin um, theme card works pretty well as a goblin mm -hmm. uh, kind of stand-in token, but no, there are not tokens in these packs. Okay. Uh, and just to reiterate, the format of cards in Jumpstart is, what are they legal in? Right, so the cards with a Jumpstart expansion symbol, which is most of the cards in the set, most of those you'll open, they have the, the little Jumpstart expansion symbol, those use essentially what we call commander legality. Mm -hmm. So uh, eternal formats, um, commander, legacy, vintage, not standard, not modern, not pioneer. Mm -hmm. And then additionally, some of the cards in Jumpstart are just M21 cards. They literally have an M21 expansion symbol and they're legal everywhere that M21 is, um, so including standard. Okay. Um, I am not ignoring the questions about Ikoria uh, collector boosters. We're just not going to talk about the contents of that. We're going to talk about Ikoria so much, Plenty. Plenty. so much in March and April, probably May. Uh, you will hear everything. You will get it, yep. yeah. Yeah, today we just had those two little bits of information uh, because of Toy Fair and a couple other yeah. trade shows we had coming up, and we wanted to make sure you heard it first. Um, so we are going to, let's see. Uh, Jumpstart, as of now, is not coming to Magic Online, correct? Correct. Okay. Um, is coming to Arena. Is coming to Arena. Sometime this year. Sometime this year. Yep. Maybe a little bit different, but um, but yeah, the Jumpstart experience will be on Arena. Yep. Um, the preview season for Acoria will start, I'll, I'll say, in March. We're, we'll, we'll talk more about it. We will announce that announcement as we get closer. They love, they love that one, They right? love when they we love announce it. announcements. It's just like, hey, could you announce some more announcements? And we're like, yes, yes, yes we, we got you. We will announce when we will announce that. In fact, right now, I'm actually, what I just did, I just announced that we're going to announce the announcement. They got us. I did it. They got us. I did it, everyone. All right. <laughs> On that note, we're going to call it for today. Yeah. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Again, all of the information on Jumpstart is going to be in an article on Daily MTG that as soon as we get off the air, I'm going to go push publish on. Uh, and it'll be up for your viewing pleasure. Head to pleasure. Head to either one. Either, either one. one. Yeah, I got to be done. Uh, head to dailymtg.com. Uh, and just a reminder that this weekend is DreamHack Anaheim. You can head to uh, dreamhack.com slash Anaheim. I'm doing that off the top it. of my head. I think it. that sounds right. Uh, for all the information on either how to play or how to watch all weekend, big event. Uh, I would definitely tune in this weekend. Uh, if you haven't gotten en enough magic since the world championship so thanks again to mark yeah, thank thanks to all of you for tuning in 
and we will see you next week. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, everyone.